Today we are going to look at the CR6 from Cryality. Coming up on Zachary, 3D prints, news and updates. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews, news and other things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I will put every social media link in the description of this video. You can, if you want, also support this channel, I will put the Patreon link as well in the description of this video. Two weeks ago, Creality did a live stream and announced six new or upgraded, uh, upgraded 3D printers that are going to be released during 2020 or even 2021. And one of them was the anniversary model, the CR6 SE. Maybe SE is from second edition, I don't know. But this is Creality's first crowdfunded 3D printer. One question that I have with this, Creality makes already for six years 3D printers. Why a crowdfunded 3D printer? I don't know. So it's their first 3D printer where they wanna focus on the prob problem and issues to solve them within 3D printing. They want to focus on a user-friendly 3D printer. I think that's really great. And is this going to be a bestseller like the Ender 3? Let's dive into the specs of this 3D printer with the focus on the issues that they are going to solve in this CR6 SE edition. It's going to be a smarter and more user-friendly FDM FFF 3D printer for beginners and hobbyists. A 3D printer should be stable and giving amazing results time after time. This will be Creality's first crowdfunded 3D printer and they want to release every week some new features on this 3D printer. So I also want to give you all of the information about those new features in this 3D printer. On the end they have also a surprise a huge surprise and i think that's going to be the max and the customized cr6 and i think that is great well one of the key features of this cr6 is that you can print right out of the box of course it's not a fully assembled 3d printer but it comes in two, three different kind of modules that you have to put together, tie some screws, and then you're almost good to go. But then, what are we going to do? Normally, if you are assembling a 3D printer, one of the things that you need to do is doing a leveling of your heat bed, or bed leveling, or leveling from the bed depends on how you want to pronounce it but this thing you always need to do and that is one of the other things that Creality wants to solve with this CR6 SE 3D printer one thing we always need in the case of this new 3D printer Creality wants to solve the problem solve the issue well sometimes the nozzle is too far or even too close and one of the things is always recurring the nozzle is too far or the nozzle is too close at one point it's good and on the other corner it's not and you keep on leveling your bed so the research and development team from cryality looked around to all other 3d printer manufacturers and no one haven't solved this issue of course they have auto leveling systems but not like this kind of a system when I look at this picture, I see really something totally different. I don't see any knob, knobs where you have to level the bed yourself. No, there are little pillars uh, with some rubber dampers underneath the heat bed. Besides those pillars, they are also using a smart sensor system. 
that achieve a hassle-free experience when it comes to leveling your bed. So pre-leveled out of the factory. I'm really excited about that one. One problem that Creality wants to solve is clogged and oozing leaking nozzles. And when you have one of these issues, you have parts that are deformed or having unsuccessful prints. The solution from Creality, a modularized nozzle, meaning this nozzle is very versatile modular and easy for parts replacements, saving time and efforts. When you disassemble the nozzle, you can change the heat block, you can change the heat sink, the PTFE tube, or even the nozzle tip. On most of the Creality printers, or I think on all 3D printers, in some ways you can always change the nozzle, you can change the PTFE tube, the cooling block, the heater block, the even going for all metal hot end, different kind of ways to change or upgrade these kind of nozzles. And when, when I look to the picture, I can see on the top of it, I can see a 10 or 12 pins connector. It's going to be really amazing. I don't really know which kind of modules that Creality is going to use, but we will see that in upcoming months what they are going to do with that. And of course, I will keep you informed about these kind of modules. The next one, the Carborundium glass bed that you can buy for your and 3 or different kind of other 3D printers from Creality. Creality is trying to make a new standard to add this glass bed to all new coming 3D printers. But are they also going to use in the future spring steel pay sheet? I don't know. Okay, I do see on this picture on the back some standard clips, not the dovetail clips, but just brackets where you can shove the glass bed underneath and then using two fasteners to clamp the glass bed onto your heat bed. Great thermal performance, quickly in heating up and a strong adhesion. After printing, easy print removal when it is cooled down enough. One other thing that Creality wants to eliminate is wobbling platform during printing. Many users have mentioned that the single Z axis is unstable during printing and many users are uh, wants a dual Z axis for a, a 3D printer. The CR10S and the Ender 3 upgrades were released in 2018 and 2019 with the CR10S with a dual Z axis and also the Ender 3 Pro with a wider Y axis and it was more stable than the normal Ender 3. And so the CR6 SE has the best of both worlds plus a meanwhile power supply unit and with this cr6 se creality wants to put a very stable 3d printer into this market and also the firmware is upgraded with standard thermal runaway protection on so to wrap up this video this printer is going to be Creality's new bestseller 3D printer, but they are going to do a crowdfunding for this 3D printer. I don't know why, but there must be a reason for that. What I see is from the website, which I'm going to put a link in the description of this video, and from the live stream two weeks ago, the standard printing volume is 235 by 235 by 250 millimeters. More information is going to come when Creality is going to open this crowdfunding page in the end of April. So in a few days, we are going to know more about this CR6 SE. Like I said, 
Check the link in the description of this video from Corality. I think it's going to be an amazing printer with a lot of new key features that should be a standard for their 3D printers. Well, that being said, th that was it for today's video of Sakurai 3D Prints news and updates. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints, and I will see you next time. And as always, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.